Welcome again to another video of PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Now in this video, I will show you the progress in uh, reverse engineering this LCD. If you have seen uh, the two previous videos about uh, this uh, process, you would have seen that I have managed to send uh, accurate data to the LCD after reverse engineering and finding how to do this and what this uh, this ribbon does, each pin of this ribbon does. And uh, I was not uh, able to send uh, um, drawings and letters and things like that because I had used only this peak. And uh, first of all, it was not fast enough. And second, it had uh, very few memory, not able to handle all the screen. So, uh, First, I had to upgrade uh, the memory of the PIC, and for this, I added this chip here, which is a 25AA256, and this chip has 20, uh, 256 kilobit of memory, that's about, that's exactly 32 kilobytes, and, uh, and also, I had to increase uh, the speed that the data are transferred to the LCD. And to do this, first I tried to change, to put another peak. And so I tried this badass over here. This is an 18F something, I don't remember. This chip uh, along with this crystal, not this. This crystal, this oscillator, which is 80 megahertz. And I tried this instead of this um, simple peak. And I failed because it was still not fast enough. So to solve this problem, I decided uh, to give the control, to take the control out of the peak, and give it to this simple TTL circuit. And that's because the peak needs four clock cycles for one uh, instruction instruction cycle. And uh, the TTL runs one instruction cycle every one cycle, clock cycle. And actually, it's not an instruction cycle, but anyway, you understand. And uh, then I change completely the, the firmware of the PIG. And the only thing that the PIG does is first to enable the clock for the circuitry. Then it um, counts a delay and then it stops the clock and this delay is enough for the circuitry to send the data to the LCD and how this is done the clock is directly sent to this uh, quad uh, NAND gate and uh, the positive edge is, is driven to the uh, to the RAM and the negative edge is driven to the this uh, divider and so on every four instruction cycles, on every four clock cycles, the data are driven from this memory to the serial uh, to, to this uh, serial in parallel parallel out shift register. So, four instruction cycles drives four bits to the serial input of the shift register, and they are converted in parallel, and then they are driven through these four wires to the LCD. And this divider divides the, the cycles by four. That's why I have this wire here. And uh, on every four instruction cycles, it sends one pulse to the LCD to get this four da data. And then this is done over and over again until all data are sent to the LCD. And with this way, I managed to have at least uh, 20 times faster um, 20 times faster data transmission from the peak and so now I run the peak with the internal oscillator I also tested with this uh, uh, this oscillator which is 8 megahertz and uh, it was also good it had 50 uh, 50 hertz uh, 
refresh rate, the LCD, with the 8 megahertz, and then I I turn to the internal internal oscillator of the peak at 16 megahertz. Now I have a hundred hertz uh, refresh rate, and let's see how this looks. So oh, before I turn on, I added this battery also. Why? If you have seen the two previous videos, you would have seen that I, ha I had this um, potentiometer in the VEE pin of this LCD and uh, I had this down to the ground connected and it did work but the problem was that the frequency was too slow and so each scan line had enough time to, uh, to, to appear to the screen but now that I have a hundred hertz of refresh rate which is uh, very fast I needed to add a negative voltage to this VEE pin so I got minus 12 volts from, from my power supply and drove this to the VEE through this potentiometer but it was not enough and I had to add minus 9 volts so I have minus 21 volts now to this VEE through this potentiometer so this potentiometer also controls uh, the, the, the contrast of the of the LCD and I turn on the power supply and let's see what happens nice so let me fix the light okay so first of all you see that the refresh rate is awesome the LCD uh, is very stable and there is no no uh, flickering or whatsoever the screen is very clear and I can increase the contrast or decrease the contrast as much as I want also you can see that I can upload different uh, uh, fonts this is Comic Sans, this is something else and also I can upload drawings very easy I will show you later the, the software that, that I have made for this and uh, I have add this LED here that shows the speed that the data are, are written from the peak to the memory remember that the data are written only once one complete screen like this one is then saved to this memory and from then on the peak does nothing else than timing the the circuitry to send the data from the from the RAM to the LCD and nothing else so I will press this button which will reset the peak and you will see a blink on the LED this blink shows that 10 kilobytes of data have been transferred to the um, to the memory so I will press it and watch how fast this goes that's it this was 10 kilobytes of data written to the memory and I plan to use another oscillator like this one over here but uh, at 32 megahertz and this is the upper limit of the, the higher limit of, of this peak and this means that this uh, time will be two times less half of this time so let's see now how I make the data for this I have made uh, a simple a simple program which is this one and I can run the windows paint I can make first of all I need to make this thing this the, the, the canvas at uh, 32 320 width by as much as I want for example by that that much okay then I can paint or write whatever I like something don't know of course 
it works only black and white if you put something else it will appear black and white on the LCD because LCD is black and white and then I save it to a specific folder because the program that I have made gets data only from this specific file this one I can change it of course but okay this is this is just a tool I will leave with this and then I load the image and the image is loaded here and uh, first I can I can see how this will look in bits and bytes let me make this bigger you see the one and zeros zero means the pixel is off and one means the pixel is on and this is the image actually here and this image must be converted in something that the pig will understand the compiler will understand so I add red literal W commands here I make one command per line and I make each line mu a multiplier of 8 because there is no uh, meaning of having 6 bits for example or 5 bits and then I pre press again load, no load, serialize and the data are converted into something that the pig will understand I will copy all this data here select all copy and I will paste this data to the memory village of the peak. I will upload upload this memory to the peak. And when I press the button, the peak will write this data to the memory in this speed. That speed. And uh, this circuit will send the data a hundred times per second to this LCD and I think that the reverse engineering of this LCD is over and now I can use this LCD for my project and that's the, the reason why I began this LCD in the first place this uh, reverse engineering in the first place so thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects